At EFC Africa 25, the light heavyweight title is on the line as the champion Hideon Drachki clashes with internationally feared Frazier Opie. They are Africa's greatest warriors. Hideon, the juggernaut, Drachki! I think it's the way that I'm the best is. And no one will be able to get out of here. And I know that for a fact that I'm the best in the best light of the world. For us, it's very positive. For us, it's right. For us, it's right. It's confident. And I believe that Gideon will do it. He has a good mindset. And I know that he has earned it. He works very hard for it. And yeah, he comes along the way. trains all the time, uh, fighting and teaching and training, that is his profession. Most people think that we're just a, a ground, we've got, got strong ground game, but I also think our stand-up's getting there as well, because we, we work hard, we've got Gregor, coaches like Gregor, Rico as well, knows his stand-up, and I think that we can surprise a few people. He's fighting out of Milton Keynes in England, Fraser! I'm on a four-fight winning streak. I fought loads. Of, I mean, with regards to light heavyweight division in the EFC, it's, it's not that vast at the minute. So, yes, I've only had one fight in the EFC, but what have I had before that? I thought that's, that's why I think I'm, you know, the next viable person to contend for. He's got the discipline. He's now got the experience behind him. Everything he does, he does 100%, and there's no shortcut for it. <laughs> Frazier's a top classer in the May fleet. He's been in the game for a while. He's obviously he's a three-time champion in the UK. The boy is good, legit. He's got that ground and pound and his range down shots. He's picking his punches. Nowhere to go, Ali. Opie looking to finish. Opie destroys his opponent. Ali in a world of hurt after that onslaught from the Omen. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on him shooting. You know, he's he's trying to defend a belt that uh, he never actually got the, the, the proper way of beating JP because JP went into retirement. So I think he has to try and prove and that's going to be his downfall, trying to prove that he's, that he's as good as what he is. I think JP is a good decision to make him to retire. I think as he's going to fight it, so I, in any case, now that he fights, so I, so I put him here. He won that interim belt. It's not his fault that JP retired, so he's obviously going to take that belt. He probably does have something to prove to people that he is. But at the same time, I'm going to prove to people that I want that belt and I should be the one who holds that belt. I think this fight against Frazier um, will uh, legitimize him as a champion. So that's what we're looking for. I can uh, overconfident we have the full eyes from England, other land, like from South Africa to the time market we have. Uh, so either way, I think I, I must not know uh, from South Africa to the market we have. Gideon's obviously done what he's needed to do to get there. Um, now being the current title holder and not the interim anymore, and I'm waiting for Fraser to step up against him because I believe that uh, he's got the mark for it, and I think it's going to be a great fight. I'm all going confident we are still the slang. Fraser must have any hope, but I can come and I can try to get slang. You know, if he wants to stand up, start fighting, it's more exciting for the fans. I'd like that. I just hope he's training hard. I want to put a good show for the fans. I want it to be a fight to remember. But yeah, he is just looking off my belt. Kitty Andratsky versus Frazier OB. Thursday, 7 November, Grand West Casino, Cape Town. Tickets and broadcast information at efcafrica.com.